All right, quick video on Google Plus. When you log in uh, initially and you go to plus.google.com, that will bring you to the home page of Google Plus, which is essentially the same as the home page on Facebook, and it looks very similar, okay? So we have, um, you know, in the middle we have this stream in reverse chronological order of everything that is um, from all of my various connections, regardless of the type of connection they are. Professional connection, personal connection, family, friend, whatever it might be. Once I log in on the home screen, all the latest stuff from all of those connections are going to be right in the newsfeed. If I want to filter that though, let's say I want to look at friends only. If I click on friends under stream, it will now show me only people that I have included in my circle of friends. Okay, we're going to get to circles in just a minute, but let's just talk about that in the non-internet way. Okay, so like circle of friends, circle of professional people, circle of um, family. Okay, so I have others, MP techies, so this is a circle of people that I consider to be nonprofit tech people, okay, that, that I learn a lot from and I want to follow them and I want to communicate with them and do everything that I would want to with this circle of people. And then if we scroll down a little bit, we see something called Sparks on the left hand side, okay, and Sparks is basically a way to instantly search for content that you think might be interesting, all right, so I have a Spark for Facebook for Business. If I click on that, it's going to show me content that pertains to that. And I can, if I see something that's really interesting, like on eWeek, I see Google Plus challenges in a Facebook world. I click on Share, and then I can share it with specific circles of people. Again, let's talk about this in the general sense. Circles of people, professional acquaintances, friends, family, whatever it might be. So I can choose to share this with all of my circles but I may not want to do that. So in this case, because it's kind of a geeky article, I actually just want to share this with my NP Techie friends. And that's it. I don't want to share it with anybody else. I may, though, I may actually want to share this with all of my circles. Okay, so I'd get rid of NP Techies over here. And what I'd include is all my circles plus all the people that those people have put in circles. And we'll just click on Share. And if I go back to the home screen, here it is right here, okay? So this is the most recent post in the stream. To the right of home, okay, so we're going to leave home just for a second, we have photos. These are photos from everyone in all of my circles, okay? I wish I could actually filter by circle. I haven't been able to figure that out, but I can look at these photos. I can obviously scan down them, okay? I can look at who the person is that made the photo and also what photo album they might have it in or, you know, how would Mark categorize this photo? So I just click on, oh, wow, I want to see other photos of Mark speaking. I go right to his photo album. I can see all these great pictures of Mark in, you know, speaking. Okay, when I go to Mark's profile, I see his latest post. This again is very similar to a Facebook profile. You have a main image, a name, you know, a little blurb about what they do, and then you have their posts. To the right, it shows you what circle or circles you have this person in. Okay, so Mark, he is a friend of mine. I don't have him in my friend circle yet. The purpose of circles is basically to organize people in ways that are natural to you. So with that, now let's talk about circles. This is probably the most interesting feature of Google Plus is circles. You can create these circles pretty easily. So let's just say I have a friend, Rachel Anderson. Okay, she is a professional acquaintance. If I kind of mount, kind of hold the cursor over, we see that the professional acquaintances circle lights up, okay? I might also say, you know, Rachel's pretty cool. I also consider her my friend, okay? Professional acquaintance, friend. Um, if I want to remove people from a group, though, if I click on friends, I can remove someone. So let's go to Rachel, not to pick on Rachel, but we can click on remove, okay? And that's it. If you mouse over, you can simply see, like, who's in your circle. It's extremely visual. That's what I like about circles. You can also see people who have added you to a circle, all right? But you can't see what circle that is. So, for example, Danny Brown, he's in my friend's circle, but he doesn't know it. He just knows that he's in one of my circles, all right? 
Now this actually reflects the real world. So Danny is a friend of mine, but I also might consider him a professional colleague. You know, I may not want him to know about that right now, but eventually he might know about it, okay? And then finally you can find and invite people. When you click on this, this basically gives you an entire list of people that you've probably emailed. Scroll down and you just simply drag and drop people. So let's scroll down. I'm going to pick on Ginny. I'm just going to drag her to professional acquaintance. Okay? And you get the idea. When you want to delete a circle, you can simply just delete it. If I click on family and I say delete the circle, there's nobody in here anyhow. Delete the circle, it just deletes it. And then the circle rolls away and then you're done. The last thing I'll show you is your profile and how to edit it. So if you click on profile, you'll go to your profile. You click, you go to the right, you click on edit profile, and you can edit two different aspects of each section in your profile. The first aspect is the actual content. You, you can edit the content, put in links, whatever you want to do, and then you can also edit who sees it, who sees this specific part of your profile. So in my case, I'm just saying extended circles. I could also say, you know, anyone on the internet can see this. So in this case, I'm just going to leave it at ex as extended circles, okay? Uh, and then the last thing I'll show you is up on the right-hand side, you can, um, you'll see notifications, okay? This is the latest stuff that comes in, similar to notifications on Facebook. Uh, there's also a button up in the top right that says share. When you click on this, you can decide who you're going to share something with, all right? So you can just say, only MP Techies, this is something that I want to share with these people, and they might be interested in it, okay? And then you can upload a photo, you can upload a video, add a link, make a comment here, comment, and then you add a link, and you get the idea there. Uh, and that is it. So that is Google Plus, very basic overview, and I hope that was helpful. Talk to you soon. Bye.